Oh, I got something. What's up guys and girls, it's your boy the Hunter Fisher. Welcome back to another Epi Banger video. Today, guys and girls, we're hitting a new spot here uh, that I recently found out about from a friend. Uh, but I'm hopefully about to get on some fish here. Uh, there's lots of brim species and stuff like that here. And I want—I really feel like doing some micro fishing. I've done a lot of bass fishing. I've done a lot of saltwater fishing lately. But what I haven't done enough of is some more micro fishing. Now today, guys and girls, I have a review for you. So recently, Runkle sent me the new Titan 2 reel spooled up with their braid. I think it's called, I don't remember their braid name exactly, but I'll probably put a little thing here to tell you what exactly the name of the braid is but I'm going to be fishing with that reel today throwing around some crappy jigs uh, just a lot of brim focusing today I'm also going to throw in obviously my other micro fishing combos uh, I'm really hoping to get bit on either one I'm going to be testing out the reel before uh, I'm going to be testing out the reel mainly just today not necessarily always going to catch fish on it but I'm going to be testing a lot of different things that goes along with this reel today so hopefully I get on a few fish and hopefully we get on a consistent bite this is a little bit of a newer area to me I've only explored it it probably once and I didn't get that much time to so hopefully today guys and girls we can get on a few fish hopefully a few fish that aren't bass I don't feel like catching any more bass recently it's just been redundant how often I've caught bass but if you guys want to go pick up this reel I'm gonna tell you guys right now uh, you can actually go pick up this reel on the Runkle Amazon page I believe where you can use this discount code that I'm gonna display right here and they're gonna activate and you guys will actually get a discount off this reel and a discount off the braided line now Hopefully I can get out there get on a few fish. I'm done for talking I'm gonna talk more about the reel on the GoPro because I'm, honestly, I'm kind of I'm becoming more natural in my content lately guys I want to focus on not so much all uh, like all this b-roll and stuff like that I want to focus more on qu quantity of content because I mean you guys are always gonna be watching the videos for the person who's in the video not really the way that I make the video there's nothing special about the way I make videos and there never will be I like to essentially offer my knowledge and my personality as a value uh, for whenever you view my videos so I come I'm kind of just dumbing down my videos to keep it simple so I can produce more content for you guys to view along the way now with that said I'm gonna talk more in the GoPro I'll see you guys out of the water let's go all right guys this is the real me testing today it's an a 2000 size with eight pound braid on it uh, I'm just gonna test it out, see what I can get into. It's mostly a metal frame, which is nice. It won't bend at all. So if you want to use it for bigger fish and stuff like that, you can. They make all sorts of sizes with this reel, but drag cooker is pretty loud so far. I've checked already, but I've got it rigged up on an ultralight rod. And we're gonna test out and see what we can get into today. Oh, I got something. Let's go, guys. First fish of the day. I got something. What is it? Oh, it's a crappie. Oh my gosh, guys. We have the first one on the board and it's a crappie. That's so sick. That's so sick, freaking guys. I haven't got a crappie in so long. Oh my God, I'm so happy about that. Heck yeah. That's so dope, guys. So this is the first fish of the day. So, ah, these schooling fish that I'm seeing are crappie. That's so sick. I gotta take a picture of that with the jig in his mouth. It's a little tiny crappie, but he's so cute. See if we can find some big old boys. Heck yeah, guys. First fish of the day. That is awesome. I would have never guessed crappie were in here. That's actually kind of insane. We can throw those those guys back, but these guys, dude, those crappie are like clean. They don't they aren't slimy like most crappie are. Or mostly they aren't. But like, holy crap. That's so cool. I'm catching crappy. Let's freaking go, boys. Let's go, guys. I'm hype about that. Let me turn the drag down because these fish aren't that big. Oh, dude, there's bass here, too. They're blowing up on bait over there. Let's freaking go, dude. Oh. Okay, I turned on the drag down a little bit too hard. What is this, dude? Is that another crappie? Come on, get out of that grass. It's another crappie, guys. Oh, it's a slightly bigger one. Let's go, guys. A slightly bigger crappie. Dude, that is so cool. And these fish are extremely cold. So this is like prime crappie area. That's so sick, guys. Let them go. Let them grow, baby. Oh, my gosh, guys. 
If you guys just noticed, I got stuck in the grass there. In that situation, the advantage of using braided fishing line there, there is no way I would have gotten that fish out of that with like four pound mono. <laughs> and this is equivalent to like two pound right here on this eight pound. And that's so sick. That's so sick, guys. I'm catching them on a one inch little EPF swim pink right there. Made my own little weedless jig and I'm catching them on the Uncle Reel. Let's go sick, dude. Ah, oh, yes, dude. There's another one, guys. He's getting in that grass. Let's go, guys. Crappie? That's another crappie, guys. Dude, let's freaking go, guys. Dude, this is awesome. This is so awesome that we're getting on crappie like this. Let's go, guys. That's so sick. That's another fish to count. There's like a huge school of crappie right there, guys. That's so sick. I wonder if there's an easier way to get to them from here that I can find. I'm trying to see if there's like a better trail to walk down. Let me see if I can walk over here. It's like, there's a good angle, but like where I'm at, but like it's just not like as good of an angle. Let's see if, oh, this will be better. Heck yeah. Just gotta be careful about walking this high grass, guys, with shorts. And there's ticks and there's snakes and there's everything. So, so this looks like it gets a better spot to be in. Crop, you're fighting hard, dude. Oh, it's a bigger one. Oh, dude. Oh my god. Dude, that's a freaking huge bluegill. Oh my god, that's a giant bluegill. Oh my freaking god, I've got to measure that, dude. Oh my gosh, guys. Huge bluegill. That's so sick. Well, not huge bluegill. That's like average Florida gill right there. I'm just kidding. That's not average Florida gill. That's a. Fl Dude, that's a massive bluegill. <laughs> Let's freaking go, guys. Guys, eight and a half inch bluegill. That's so sick. Let's get this little lure out of his mouth, but we gotta be careful these spikes. Let's go, guys. Got him out of the, got his get the lure out of his mouth. That's another one for the board, guys. That's so sick. Let's see if we can get him back to the water far enough from here. But that was a big one, guys. That was a really good bluegill. Like, it's hard to find bluegill that big in little, Kind of like just runoff. This is like a runoff. This is all that is. Dang, that's so cool. Right about there is where I caught that big bluegill. It's funny, I've caught all these fish, but I haven't caught the target species that I actually even came out here for. But I'm not really complaining. Oh, dude, I'm getting thumped like crazy by something tiny. Crappie, crappie. Crappie, crappie, crappie. It's another crappie, let's go guys. Crappie, spec, whatever you wanna call it. Where I'm from, they call it specs. Some people call them a crappie here. This is a tiny little creek crappie. Look how cute he is. I love these little guys. Heck yeah, guys. Throw him in the grass right there, he'll get out. I'll let him deal with his own problems. Another one, guys. Another freaking fish already. Is that another crappie? It probably is. It's another crappie. Slightly bigger than the last one. But I mean, dude, it's like slay, like it's a fish after fish after fish here. God, this is awesome, guys. I'm loving this little spot. I gotta keep this in the locks, guys. <laughs> this is good, brother. This is such good fishing right now. Just got picked up. Picked it up off the bottom. Dude, these crappie, those little tiny crappie are fun, dude. I don't even care if they're tiny. They're fun as heck.
He's moved his eyes. That's weird. This grass must be deeper than I think it is. Guys, they've literally been like almost picking it up off the bottom after I let it sink. It's kind of crazy. But like the sensitivity of this braid is pretty good so far. I'm actually not mad about it. And especially when I'm using leader. Oh, I just got bit again. There we go. Another crappie. Honestly, I'm not going after these guys, and I'm not mad they're here. <laughs> I love crappie. You guys know that. I mean, crappie to me is just like a very, it's just a, there's a lot of sent sentiment, sent sent sentiment behind uh, crappie because uh, my grandfather fishes for, he fished for crappie a lot and he passed away last year. So I know that's a bummer, but it's just, there's a lot of sentiment behind catching crappie to me. And it's, it's just really cool just to be able to do something that, you know, he did and he loved so and he kind of sucked at fishing so it's good to be you know have like at least a good legacy to carry on so it is not a bad thing to be catching tiny crappie all the time you know that's a bad cast honestly I kind of have an idea of where they're sitting now so i'm gonna try casting there repeatedly right about there is where they've been sitting Is that a bigger one? That looks like a bigger one to me. I think it's bigger. We're getting there. We're getting bigger sizes. Dude, this is awesome. Catching these fish like crazy like this. In like a, just a, a quiet, secluded area in a neighborhood. It's awesome. This would be a banger neighborhood pond, dude. This pond is fire. something bigger there's something Bit the biggest one bait Let's see what it is spec that's right a little bit bigger too just like i figured i gotta send him a picture of this because uh the guy told me about the spot <laughs> gave me these swim baits so i figured i'd say they caught fish and let him know he's a slimy boy Well, hopefully you catch another one. <laughs> I wanted a picture with that little fish on the swim bait. The guy who gave me this swim bait taught me. He's also the guy who told me about the spot. So, but at least the swim bait got bit. That's sick. Let us go catch some more fish. That's hype. Holy yeah, crap! Beautiful, man. Right? He immediately started running with it too. Especially in this kind of has like the green. That's a crappie. Yes, yes dude, let's go. <laughs> dude, that's so sick. <laughs> yes, dude. A flyer. Let's freaking go. Oh my god. That's so sick. Oh, they're golden and they're so pretty. Oh my god. I was like bummed for a second. I'm like, ah, there's no way I'm gonna catch that flyer today. <laughs> oh, for sure. Let's freaking go, guys. Guys, I'm throwing around my BFS combo versus the uh, spinning combo a little bit. And Taylor just caught like a good flyer, like bigger than this one. I think I showed it on video, but it's about the same. Was it about the same size? Uh, maybe just a little bigger. Yeah, yours is probably bigger. But this is a flyer perch guy, or flyer brim, flyer brim. But it looks a lot like a crappie. But what's the way you know it's a flyer brim for sure is you look at this line on their eye. I don't know if you can you guys see can see it on the eye right there. There's a line right there that goes straight through the flyer perch. Uh, and these guys feed on flies. You, you, we keep seeing surfacing bait or surfacing fish. If it's minnows and then a surfacing fish, that's crappie. If it's a fly and then a surfacing fish, it's this guy. So, but it was, thank you for biting, guys. Let me take another picture. Oh, no way. Oh, 
Crappy. On the EPF swim, baby. Bro, he is hanging on by like a thread. He's paper mouse, bro. I was like saying in my video the whole time about these fish that were picking me up and putting me down. They were just paper mouth crappie. You got another one? Yeah. Bro, we were on them. Oh, I've seen smaller, bro. All right, guys and girls, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy that quick little review of the Runkle Titan. Two. I have the 2K size, but I actually might do a review later on of the Runkle Titan 2 in the 4K size. I plan on using this reel mainly for live bait out in the saltwater flats area. Just trying to see if we can get on some bigger fish as far as live bait goes. I don't really throw live bait too often. I'm not really a live bait guy. Uh, I'm more of an artificial guy. I like to pick apart these fish. And to be honest, I've seen live I've seen live bait not really do as good as artificials, especially when they tend to catch the same size fish I've actually noticed. Uh, so really, I tend to throw artificial more than live bait, but I'm gonna test the 4K size Titan 2 here in the future to see if it'll handle some saltwater fish. The reel that I tested today in today's video was 22 pounds of drag, I believe. And the one I'm gonna test for live bait should have 33 if I remember correctly. I just remember it was like insane amount of drag, like almost insanely unnecessary in some ways, but nice to have, I would say. So I hope you guys enjoy that little reel review. It's a really nice budget reel if you're looking for something that you don't wanna spend a ton of money on, but you're looking for a reel that can work ultralight like I used it today or if you want to use it for inshore flats fishing it's honestly a lot better than something like I don't know a Shakespeare reel that's mostly just plastic that reel is not mostly plastic it's actually mostly metal I think the only thing that I felt that was really super plasticky on it is the drag hop and the handle itself so overall the body's made out of metal so it's really freaking strong I can't bend it and I usually can bend some reels that are spinning reels especially but mainly I like the reel I think it's a great deal especially if you're looking for something on a budget and the braid itself is also a pretty good deal the braid I I could do with or without the braid I'm not really super into the braid just because I have other braid I like y'all already know who I'm talking about but I have other braid I prefer and I'm probably gonna stick to my usual braid that I love and know and I always trust in that doesn't go without saying that this braid worked for me in today's video hope you guys enjoyed the video so far I know I enjoyed catching my first flyer perch flyer brim whatever you want to call it uh, I also enjoyed catching all those tiny little crappy and I know I enjoyed just being out there on the water so I hope you guys enjoyed that little video hope you guys enjoyed the review and uh, I'll see you guys next time on the YouTube channel and remember guys fish fear me